Good morning, everyone. My name is Luda, aka Nitty Life. Welcome. Did it work? The cartoon show to watch when you won't settle for just any cartoon show. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Luda, aka Nitty Life, and today we're gonna start working on a new fun project. We're gonna start working on a tote bag, but we're gonna make a design on it, which I'm so excited because I've never done a tote bag with a design, like especially a chart. So we're gonna do Garfield, my favorite. Did you guys know there's a show? like a cartoon show. I didn't know that till recently. Anyway, so we're gonna do this on our design and the reason I'm doing the tote bag with design because I saw this video on Instagram. I'm gonna post it right now. And she does this little trick where you just make a rectangle and then you fold it and then sew the corners and then it becomes a tote bag. So it sounds so easy just to make a rectangle. We do that, I do that all the time for my cardigans and other things. So let's get started. I'm gonna be using this yarn, the impeccable yarn, wait for in color forest, forest green. So this is the yarn I'll be using as the background and then we'll have the orange Garfield because it's a perfect color for the fall. And so orange and green look good together. So we're just gonna do that. So let's get started. I'm gonna pop on my couch and we're gonna get started. But before I do that really quick, we are going to, so I count the stitches. It's 51 chains by 48 rows. I want the Garfield to be centered. So we're gonna add five chains on each row. So I'm gonna chain 61 chains for my bag, the basic. And so let me see how big that is. I'm a little worried that might be too big of a bag, but bigger the better right you can use it for halloween candy like you got options so let's go pop on the couch start working on this awesome bag and then we'll see what happens okay so i got my 61 chains it's a huge bag like that is a huge link so let me actually make it 51 and see how that looks really quick few moments later okay so i made 51 chains and this is how much it is so that's not a bad link for a bag. It's still pretty huge, but let's just keep it at that. And then let's start working our Garfield. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one and we're gonna single crochet in our second chain. And we're gonna single crochet all the way till the end, chain one and go back and forth. And let's do that for 50 rows. So for 50 rows, we're just gonna have plain green by itself, forest green. And then we're gonna do Garfield and then we'll fold the Garfield, obviously. Let's do that really quick and then see how it goes. I'm gonna pass forward, put on Killing Eve, continue watch watching that, and then I'll meet you guys when I have my you know, 50 or 60 rows. I'll let you know how many I have. So real quick update, it's about to be six and I finished 52 rows of the rectangle. So we're halfway there. And then Garfield is 48 rows. So, and you see all the black on the edges. So instead of wasting my black and going all the way across the orange, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my black yarn. Sorry, I'm talking so fast. And I'm gonna roll it into a ball. So we're gonna have two separate black yarn. But real quick, while I'm doing that, I'm about to go outside and help my partner to uh, run his track workout. So let's go do that real quick and then we'll come back. Here's the track and there's the athlete. I just ran one lap and I don't run at all. Maybe like a hundred dash, but I did a whole lap. And now I'm out of breath. Oh, Eli's still running. <laughs> everyone today is day two of our Garfield crochet tote bag so we haven't started it yet and I just haven't decided which color I want to use for the orange if I want to use this bright orange or this kind of subtle a little bit darker orange which I might do because this is kind of very bright but it would be good because it's also anime Garfield so maybe I'll use this one so now I'm thinking if I should put you guys overhead camera on overhead camera and show you how I'm going to do a few rows, but I don't think I will because I don't know. Do you guys like those videos? Like I've done a few of those now and just kind of show you how to do the chart because people ask me all the time. And so 
let me know down below like what you guys think do you guys want me to continue doing overhead cameras for like you know five six rows to get you started and then like give you the chart and then you do it on your own or let me know what you guys think so let's get started on our Garfield. I am super excited. So I already rolled, like you guys saw me yesterday, two yarns of black. And and then I'm going to use this orange. That's red heart yarn. Just get it on Michaels. All of that yarn is at Michaels. And so let's start working. I'm super excited. I'm just going to lower the camera and kind of pass forward and throw some lo-fi on it. So it'll be speed up the process. Hey guys, quick update. So I am about to start working on the yellow part of the Garfield. So we're interpreting too many colors. We have green on this side, we have green on this side, we have black. So we have, look at that, a lot of yarn. And so I'm gonna need a bigger space to kind of spread it all out so it's not tangled and stuff. So I'm gonna pop on the bed and start crocheting all the way up. And I'll meet you guys when I am um, taking a break, just kind of update you and show you what it looks like. It looks really good so far, so I'm really excited. So let's keep going. Every time I'm looking for my phone, I'm like, where's my phone? I want to, you know, put an audiobook on, podcast, where is my phone? Takes me five minutes to realize, duh, it's on my tripod because I'm recording. Do you guys ever have that? Ha happens to me all the time. Hey guys, so I just want to do a real quick update. It's almost noon and I'm actually going to go bowling with my brothers, which will be fun. I'll take you with me. And so I just want to do a real quick update of Garfield. So here, how far we've gotten. So it looks like a mess because we have so many different yarns. So yeah, it's getting a little bit difficult because we're using more colors. But let me show you on Procreate how far we've gone. Just take it forever. Hello. There it goes. <laughs> so this is how far we've gotten. So I kind of started this row already, but we're getting there. So let's keep going. Um, so let's go actually go play bowling. I'll take you with me and then we'll come back and keep crocheting. Hopefully we'll be done maybe with his eyes today and then finish it tomorrow. Like sew it up and everything. So I'm super excited. Let's go do that. <laughs> Just look at the mess in here. The, the disarray, the disorganization, and look, look. Don't forget guys to take short breaks throughout your crocheting project or, you know, long breaks and don't forget to eat. Sorry, it's really loud, my dishwasher's on. It's 9.34 and I just got downstairs to my apartment from my brother's apartment and we finished our Garfield chart, graph, pattern. <laughs> We finished it and it looks awesome. So here's Garfield, looking good. And so tomorrow, all we're gonna do is sew the sides. We're gonna do that trick, which I'm so excited about. Um, we're gonna sew the sides and then do the trick on the corner and then do the straps. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with the straps. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So here's the back. I do have to sew in a few things, not too many, but it looks pretty good. Very nice and clean. So I'm pretty excited. This is my first time doing a tote bag with the design so and it's going well so far so let's see how tomorrow turns out and i'll see you guys then hi guys welcome to day three today we're gonna do the trick which i'm super excited so let's follow that video finally and see can i make this rectangle into a bag so let's do it one is making a rectangle Step two is folding it in half and sewing the sides together. So I have my Garfield on the outside. So let's do that really quick. So I'm gonna grab my yarn needle and we're gonna sew it as followed. Okay guys, so I finished the first step. So we sewed in the sides, so both sides, and I actually cleaned up everything. Once you have that, you're gonna take the corner and flatten it the opposite way along the seam, and you're gonna sew across. It should look like this when you're done. 
the final review. Did it work? Let's check it out. So I sewed both ends, like she said it. And so let's flip it over and see. I'm a little nervous. It's gonna be... Okay, yeah, it worked. We got the end right here, which is awesome. And then we got the end right here. How awesome is this? This is a cute bag. Oh my gosh, trick or treating bag, real cute. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some straps going from the side, probably single crochet, just maybe a hundred chain and then go back and forth. Or I can do straps going the middle. So I'm gonna look up some IDs on Pinterest to see what's the best straps that people kind of use or where to place them. And then let's do the last step and we're done guys. Like this looks awesome. And then we'll take some pictures obviously, but ah, this is so cool. Hey guys, I finished the bag and it looks awesome. So here's the bag. I got my wallet in there, my glasses and my keys. And it has plenty of room for trick or treating. So Halloween candy. And you know, you can put books in here, magazine, computer. It could be everyday bag. So I'm super happy how it turned out. I'm definitely gonna be making more bags with a design on it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. If you like this video, please subscribe and comment down below. And I'll see you on my next video.